Hi there, it's Karen with VintageDazzle.Etsy.com here with another vintage haul from the flea market. It's been, oh gosh, almost a couple of weeks I think since I went um, and I've forgotten some of the prices on these things. I just looked at my list trying to refresh my memory. Hopefully I'll, it won't be too bad. Uh, I did find some jewelry. I ended up probably overpaying for some things as I usually do. <laughs> but. You know, sometimes you just can't help yourself. A um, couple of good buys, a couple of dumb buys. We'll just see. I'll just get started with the uh, lip um, jewelry first. And I'll start with this. Um, this is a garnet necklace. And uh, these can be pretty old. This could be, could be Victorian. But I don't know. Uh, there's no clasp on it to give me any clues. It's on a, a red thread. But um, it needs desperate cleaning. But I think I paid maybe 15 for that, maybe 20. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Get to check on my... Uh, okay, I paid 20 for that. That's too much. I don't know what I was thinking. I just looked at all those garnets and thought, ooh. Uh, let's see, I bought a bag full of um, screwback earrings. There's one pair that for sure is sterling. And that's these little ones. Very pretty. And then, okay, where was I? Yes, that was muffin. You may or might, may not get to meet her. I don't know if she's going to come up here or not. Uh, this I just fell in love with. It's a sterling silver and marcasite hummingbird pen. I think it's old. Um, I think it's like from the 40s. And it, it has a very, very, very tiny, tiny hallmark that I can't read. I'm going to have to get some better magnification. But, um... I paid 15 for that. Okay, then we have this teeny, teeny, tiny little cameo that's the Virgin Mary. And on the back it says, Our Lady, Pray for Us, Italy. Now, I bought this thinking it was a real cameo, but as I'm looking closer, It looks like it's hand carved something, but the, it also looks like part of it is painted, so I don't really know what it is. But anyway, I paid $4 for it, and if it's not a cameo, that's probably not a very good deal. Uh, and the chain's knotted on top of that, I've got to work on that. Okay, let's see. Oh, let's see, I think I was showing you this, wasn't I? I forgot. Um, I don't know what this is. The, the piece underneath looks Victorian with a big glass topper on it and then it's got a, like a quartz crystal hanging below. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> but I love it. I fell in love with it. And I paid $10 for it and that was probably way too much. Mm, what can I say? Uh, okay, and this is the last piece. This is a absolutely gorgeous Renoir Matisse copper mid-century uh, modernist bracelet and um, it, it looks brand new and I've never seen one in this condition before usually they are really scratched and tarnished and messed up this one looks like it just came out of the box and I paid ooh, I paid 20 for that. Yeah, I paid 20 for that. And normally they sell for about 35 or 45 dollars. But I'm going to ask more for this one just because I've never seen one in this condition before. It's so beautiful. And you don't see many of these really wide ones with this pattern either. So, we'll see. Uh, I think that concludes the jewelry. And we can move on to some more idiotic purchases like 
this. This is a thumb harp. I think it was. I don't know. I, I assume that you can probably tune this somehow uh, by moving these rods around. But it's just, you know, it's got a burning, you know, the um, pyrography decorations on it. It's got a little hole right there. It's nailed. It's just, I just thought it was a charming little folk art piece. Possibly from Africa. And I paid, I don't know, 15 for that, I think. Let's see. Let me check real quick. Eh, my list keeps going away. Uh, yeah, I paid 15 for that. We have some Mexican pottery little turtles. Little baby turtle and mama turtle, I guess. They have lips. <laughs> They've got the um, calla lily decoration, which is kind of a iconic symbol on Mexican pottery. But I'd, I'd never seen little turtles like this before. I just thought they were really cute. It is signed. It looks like it says either H-Mex for Mexico or m dash Mex. I don't know that. I'll be able to figure out who that is, but I just thought it was so cute. Six dollars. Crazy. Um, now this is really old. I think it is Middle Eastern. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know what it's made out of. Uh, oh, but I'll be able to figure it out because there is a thing on the bottom that says Fabrique Tuzan Muhammad Baruch Fess. I'm sure my pronunciation is terrible. And also, this is missing its little finial, but isn't it cute? I love it. It's just got beautiful, beautiful um, repoussé embossed work on it. It's just, just really nice. And I paid five dollars for that. We have a fish. Uh, I did a picture search on this and found out it is. Modelo Repositado, something like that. Uh, anyway, it's a known piece, and they sell for pretty good money. I paid eight dollars for this, and I think they sell oh, around thirty to forty dollars. Not not a heap of money, but it says twenty, but I only paid eight. Cause the guy really wanted to get rid of it. So it's dangerous at the flea market to pick something up because then people know you're interested in it and then they start dickering with you even though you never had any intention of buying it and all of a sudden you're buying it before you know it. Um, like this. This is a George Jensen um, silver plate uh, with a gold wash and it is a candle holder. I'm not quite sure how it works. I guess you put the candle in the little springy part. Oh, hello, Muffin. And I, I don't know. I don't know how it works. But um, George Jensen silver is extremely desirable, but this is a mass-produced piece. It is designed by Andreas Mickelson, which I have had pieces of Andreas Mickelson jewelry, quite a few of them. It's very well known. Um, but like I say, this is a, this was mass produced for uh, it has a store name on it made in Denmark anyway uh, I paid 15 for that oh this is cool excuse me muffin um, this is a really old piece of carved wood so a decoration that went on a possibly on a piece of furniture, or you could put it on a wall, though. I like to deck, I have lots of little tiny nooks and crannies in this house that are very small pieces of wall that need little decorations. So, and this, what's really cool about this, 
is, I don't know if you can see these, but these are bats. It's got bats on it. And I don't know. I just love the look of it. Nice and long. Paid 15 for that. Uh, got some boxes. This one is, I believe it's from India. Just guessing on that. Got a nice brass clasp. It's super clean inside. Nothing on the bottom to tell me what it might be. Nothing that says where it's from. Could be pretty old, I know. I don't know. Uh, I paid seven for that. And this little gem, this is an absolutely gorgeous inlaid wood box with some mother of pearl. I would guess more that this is like English or, oh, it smells nice. I think it might be cedar on the inside. But, um, oh, it's just gorgeous. It has one little chip on the corner there, but otherwise it's in really good shape. It's just beautiful. I love the wood. Look at the burled. Look, even the back. It's got beautiful markings. And I paid eight for that. And then I bought some clothes just because this lady had this big pile of clothes and she was selling them for a dollar a piece, so I had to look. Of course, I had to look. These are more for me, not for sale. Well, one of them I might sell. All right, come on. Where's the top? There's a sleeve. Okay. This is a, a sheer long sleeve blouse. I like to wear these in the spring and summer just to put it on over a tank top. Most days it doesn't get all that hot and I usually like to have some kind of sleeve but not too much. So, and that's, that's nothing special about that but I just thought it was pretty. And then this is a Hawaiian dress. It's for a pretty small person. I'm hoping I can wear it, but if I can't, I can't. I haven't tried it on yet. But this is made by Hilo Hattie, which is a very desirable maker of Hawaiian shirts. I know that. Um, one of the a good label to look for. I've never seen Hilo Hattie dress before. But anyway, these are both in super good condition. Dollar a piece, can't be, can't, can't be that. Um, gosh, is that all? Huh. I guess that's all. All right. Well, I'm gonna end this then. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like any of these items. They're going to be for sale soon in my Etsy shop at vintagedazzle.etsy.com. Most of these things will be. And, um, you know, if there's something in particular you'd like me to hurry up and list or you want to ask a price, feel free to contact me. My contact information is in the description. You can email me or you can message me on Etsy, which is really the best way to do it because I, I tend to see those before I see email. Anyway, um, Okay, that's it. I hope everybody's doing well, and I will see you again soon. Bye. Oh, wait. Muffin wants to be on the video. Come here. Come here. Muffin wants to say hi. I'm sure she does. She just told me she wanted to say hi. Hi. <laughs> You're such a naughty girl. Yeah. She's been pretty good lately. Okay, off we go.